Hey everyone, it's Maddie and V, and today we're going to tell you about the time we met Jacqueline Wilson. So this has been a dream of ours practically since we were eight years old and it's been so rewarding to have it ticked off our bucket list. And over the last three years we've gone to so many events and met so many of our favourite authors and Jackie was kind of the last one on the list. While I consider the YA authors influential for my writing, Jacqueline Wilson was hugely influential to my reading and a couple of years ago we decided to pick up her books once again and start reading. Not only the backlist but the books that had been released since we stopped reading her years ago. When we were younger we used to read Jacqueline Wilson books and always wonder what would be next and so it was kind of like Jacqueline Wilson and then transitioning into adult books and there was no in between and I could never see myself stopping reading Jackie. I would still rank my favourite Jacqueline Wilson books among the books that I've read in my most recent years. They've stayed with me for over a decade and the stories are just overall so iconic that I don't think I'll ever be able to forget them. Not only has she given us some amazing books, there have been TV shows and films based off of her novels that are absolutely incredible. We started off this year going to see Hetty Feather Live in Southampton and it was seriously one of the best nights of my entire life and I'm kind of sad that 2018 will eventually be over and it will no longer be the year that I saw Hetty Feather Live. I guess Jackie herself kind of had a renaissance this year in the publishing of My Mum Tracy Beaker as she returned for the first time to a character that was over 20 years old. So our journey from not reading Jacqueline Wilson for about seven years to now getting to meet her started last summer when we posted our Jack Jacqueline Wilson book collection video. I looked at Jacqueline Wilson's website and it says she has 63 books in her little library and I think we have around 40 so I didn't realise the gaps were that big yeah. but it's a growing collection. It was a video purely for us. We spoke about our favourites and the ones we hadn't read yet and we didn't realise how much it would resonate with our audience and we've got so many messages on our Jacqueline Wilson book club series from people that used to read Jackie when they were kids just like we did and saying how much they enjoyed them and I'm glad that we've inspired them to pick them up again. Fast forward a couple of months we get a lovely email from a girl called Abby who works at the Jacqueline Wilson magazine and she wanted to do a feature on being a booktuber and writing reviews. We were asked to be the featured booktubers and share our tips and then in March of 2018 the issue was released. It's issue number 135 if you were wondering and we have a video about this too. There we are on the cover. We got to do a little photo shoot in our library with our Jacqueline Wilson book and we answered some questions about our favourite Jackie things and how to write reviews. In September of this year we got another email from Abby saying that on that feature there was a little QR code and it was their most to scanned in an issue and so they were in the process of planning an event for Jacqueline Wilson to celebrate the magazine and talk about my mum Tracy Beaker and it was going to be held at the end of October and she asked if we would like to join but literally as soon as we got the invite we knew no matter what obstacles we were facing we were going to do it because the chance to meet Jacqueline Wilson felt like a once in a lifetime opportunity. We met the five incredible women behind the Jacqueline Wilson magazine and we were surprised that it was such a small team and they do all of the work themselves. Just as an entity they were very inspiring to be around. So the event started at around midday, all of the kids came in and their parents. So the room got really full really quickly and the first thing to happen was Jacqueline Wilson gave her talk. This lasted 45 minutes, it was completely ad-libbed by Jack. she had no questions, no moderator and then towards the end she answered some questions from the audience too. Here's a little snippet of her talk and we have an unlisted video in the description which is the full talk if you want to check it out too. I got really lucky because I was desperate to be a writer but and my mum and dad and all the rest of the teachers apart from lovely Mr Townsend didn't really have much faith in me being a writer. I didn't come from the sort of home where everybody went to university. People mostly left school as soon as possible and they went to work in the local shops or the local factories and it just seemed a daft idea to my parents that I would want to be a writer and they said look you know it's nice to have your dreams but don't be silly you need to have a proper job and so when I left school my mum said I had to go and learn to be a typist uh, because in those long ago days before computers, um, if you were a boss in an office, you didn't want to bother using a typewriter yourself to write a letter, because it was harder work than writing on a computer. So you got a secretary or a typist to do it for you. And in my day, 
if people didn't quite know what to do with a girl for, for work, they generally said, well, train her to be a secretary. So I went to the local technical college and did my training, and I didn't really enjoy it very much, but I still somehow nursed this feeling right inside me that I hoped one day I really could be a proper writer and get something published. Quite unusually, because often authors never get to meet their illustrators, David Vickling said, I'll introduce the two of you together. So we both went to the publisher's office and David said to me, right, Jackie, I'd like you to meet Nick Sharrett. And... I just liked Nick straight away, and I hoped he liked me. And um, I told him how much I liked his drawings. But I, inside my head, I had just one reservation, because Nick was quite quiet at that stage, and he also, most unusually for Nick, if you've ever seen him um, nowadays, um, he was wearing some really quite conventional grey suit, and I thought, well, I love the way he illustrates, but will he be able to do really daft, mad, funny illustrations? And then I think my nose was running, and so I bent down to fish in my handbag for a tissue and saw that there was a gap between Nick's trousers and his shoe. Now, I've got quite restrained socks on today. Mine are sort of blue and black to coordinate my outfit. Nick's were bright mustard yellow with orange dots. And I thought, yes, he is the one for me. Seeing Jackie talk in person and be so charismatic with these children was just amazing. And I felt just as sparkly-eyed as those children. She was so gracious with her time and very, very humble. She's like the epitome of working hard to get to where you want to be. So she's a role model for those kids then and a role model for us now too. After her talk, that was when the kids could come up to our booktube corner and get the chance to talk about their favourite Jackie books for a video. We met so many wonderful girls who talked to us about their favourite Jacqueline Wilson books and we could share our two favourite recommendations as well, Cookie for me and Candy Floss for Maddie. It was fun introducing them to backlist books like that as a lot of them were talking about the newer releases and it was just fun to see so many kids excited about reading. In a way it was like we were giving them permission to not worry if they wanted to read Jacqueline Wilson forever too because that's what I wish I had when I was their age. So we just want to say a huge thank you to all of the kids that came up to chat to us, it was lovely getting to meet them and really made the day special. Here's a montage of their Jackie recommendations. My favourite book is Black Hills because it's got lots of drama in it. My favourite book is Jane Austen because it's got lots of drama in it. My favourite book is Jane Austen
absolutely love my mum Tracy Beaker, the new Tracy Beaker book, because it's really nice seeing what Tracy's like when she's older. My favourite Jackie Wilson books probably Rolls Rivers because or Clover Moon because they're both really fun to read. My favourite book's just been because it's got happy parts and parts really and it's really exciting to read the short and the short and the short and the short and the and then, at the very end of the day, we got to meet Jackie herself. We didn't know if there was going to be a limit for how many books you could bring, because there normally is, especially with such a prolific author. So before we went, we made sure to make some choice selections. So we each got our absolute favourite Jackie books signed and made out to us individually. So mine is Cookie, and mine is Candy Floss. So there's Jackie's signature there. And there's mine. And then I also got My Sister Jodie made out to me because it's my absolute favourite and I couldn't choose between the two of them. And that one's made out to Madison too. The day before we flew out to Newcastle, we went into Waterstones and treated ourselves to our very favourite editions of the Hetty Feather series. This is almost like the peak of our rediscovery of Jackie. I remember Hetty Feather being one of my first rereads and I'd only read the first two books in the series and since I'd stopped reading them, there were five. So there were so many more to discover and I just really loved the tone of these. I think they're some of Jackie's best works and so it made sense to pay a little more extra money to just get the covers that we really loved. This is the cover of Hetty Feather and that's the back. This is the cover of Sapphire Battersea and that's the back. And finally we have Emerald Star and there's the back. These editions are really nice because they are not like rigid paperbacks, mm -hmm. they've got quite a floppy spine so hopefully we can keep them in prime condition for the many times that we will be rereading them in the future. We're going to read them over the Christmas period again because that just feels like the perfect season to read Hetty and also discover Hetty Feather's Christmas, the short story, so look out for the book club video of that coming in December. And these are signed to Maddie and B. Once again thank you so much to the Jacqueline Wilson magazine for inviting us to this incredible event. We absolutely loved being part of it and I'll never forget it. And I guess the the last person to say thank you to is Jackie for always writing books that we will continue to love. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.